Stephen, let's move to running back. And I would argue that there has been no program in the history of college football that has stacked running back talent for as long a period of time as Alabama has. We're talking over a decade that there is always five, six, seven running backs that were highly sought after blue chip running backs in the stable. And then typically two guys that are in the rotation, at least two guys, two to three guys that are premier players and productive college players, if not superstars. This past season in 2021, it was pretty much Brian Robinson's show, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns, 35 catches, two touchdowns. He moves on to the NFL. How do we stack up with all that talent left over for 2022? Well, first things first, Mark, is where Alabama fans is concerned, hopefully no injuries happen uh, this upcoming season because that was the big thing for 2021 where you looked at um, Jace McClellan going down and you looked at Roydell Williams going down and uh, Kamar Wheaton, who's now in the portal now, but with Alabama last season, you know, he went down with a knee injury in uh, fall camp. So hopefully, you know, for the Crimson Tide Nation out there, Jeff Allen, uh, David Ballou, Dr. Matt Ray, the entire strength and, and training staff can keep those injuries at bay. That's the first hope. So if that happens right there, you've got a very stacked deck of talent in this running back room. Six guys in the roster, but the four-headed monster, you are looking at Trey Sanders, Jace McClellan, Roy Dale Williams, and Jameer Gibbs, the transfer from Georgia Tech. And all four guys – bring just different things to the table. It's going to be fun to watch, you know, who will be the starter, who becomes the one-two punch, who's the change of pace guy, could a freshman kind of enter the mix. Like It's going to be fun to watch this running back room because first and foremost, Trey Sanders coming back is three years removed from a foot injury. He'll be a couple of years removed from a car accident that left him with some significant injuries that had to have surgeries being done including a hip issue. So he'll be back fully healthy for the first time in his career since coming in here to Alabama, by the way, of Florida IMG Academy. So it's going to be fun to watch fully healthy Trey Sanders. What does this give? Like, what does this provide? We saw at the high school ranks when he was power runner, speed in the open space, can catch the ball at the backfield, can do everything on the field. Then you look at a Jace McClellan, by the way, of Texas before he got hurt, he served in kind of that that Josh Jacobs, Kenyon Drake type of role where not only does he have power between the tackles, but he's got incredible breakaway speed. And to catch the ball at the back, though, he had he had three touchdown catches a season ago prior to an injury against Ole Miss. So getting the Jace McClellan back, uh, that's going to be fantastic. And that could probably be your one-two punch right there with Trey and Jace. But then you have Jameer Gibbs, and oh my gracious, you're looking at 1,800 all-purpose yards from Georgia Tech and seven touchdowns, and people are looking at him like, this is an Alvin Kamara, this is a Reggie Bush type of player, so how does he factor in all of this with the speed that he brings and the athleticism and the explosiveness, and Coach Saban kept talking about he's got the hands, the hands, the hands on this particular young man, so Jameer Gibbs, he can give you running ability. He can give you receiving ability. He can give you kickoff return ability. If you choose to put him right there, he can give you punt return ability. If you choose to put him right there. And then you have a Roy Dale Williams that you no know, cutback ability. He's a slasher. He's got power. He's got hands as a receiver. He's got pass pro pass blocking ability. So it's a four headed monster in terms of these four. And if you can keep all four of these guys healthy, this is a special running back room. I mean, not to mention, you still have Emmanuel Henderson, true freshman five-star, one of the best backs to come from this class in the state of Alabama. And the guy was a showstopper, played two or – he played, juggled three sports in high school, played football, played basketball, ran track. And then you got Jamar Young Miller, four-star from uh, Tyler Legacy High School in Texas. And all that young man did was just set the high school record for career rushing yards across four seasons, over 5,000. So you got this kid in here. So I think the two freshmen, Henderson and Miller, depending on what they do in spring ball, they could be redshirted, possibly not. We're to see what happens. But if this four-headed monster 
of uh, Sanders, McClellan, Gibbs, and Rodell Williams, these four stay healthy. Mark, it is going to be a special group of running backs in that room. 